Morning, folks. Uh, hope you've had a good weekend. Bit of oil painting. This was an old, failed watercolour. I think I overdid the scraping and things went wrong on it. And I just washed it out. I'm, I'm going to paint straight on it. I'm not going to use any primer. I'm just using uh, pure turpentine. Whoops. I think I'll just let it raise it up a bit because I, that's annoying when I keep pitching that with my head. Oh, I see that unmute there. You see if I use the mute. I still forget to unmute. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do just a simple country scene. Uh, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna and black. Black, the queen of colours. Not quite sure who said that, Renoir, Monet or Manet. But it is, it's a great mixer and a great shortcut. It's wonderful when it's mixed with uh, a bit of red and, and, and a lump of uh, cadmium pale. I only seem to use the cadmium, so I don't use the chromium colours. I don't know why. Probably because I used to use them, they're a bit acid. I don't know. But I'm stuck with cadmiums anyway. Uh, right, I'll have some, I'll plenty of white, put some more white out. Got this big tube of, of white, it was a 200ml tube, it's now about 150ml. Let's just put some of that out there. These are all, these are, apart from this, this is a Cas, Cas Art Titanium White, student quality. The rest are Winton oils. Uh, right, so I, I'm going straight in on this. Uh, I'm, I don't know what it's I haven't done this for a fair few years. I used to use a mount card, but really, mount card is is not acid free. It's made from wood pulp, and it's uh, it's not really a durable durable thing. It's, the acid in the oil paint might, uh, or the chemicals in the oil paint might. dissolve eventually or undermine the mount card. I used to watch the demonstrations at Carl Schultz and Wellington Art Group which I was a member for many years. Um, Sherry Valentine Dane, she's one of our leading impressionist ladies. A wonderful artist. She, she would bring her chairman over from her art group, Ashted Art Group and would uh, let's have a bit back in there and would uh, do a portrait of him on Mount Card, and she would use a lot of white spirit, um, sort of like a turp substitute. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just putting some paint on them, and, and, and it was they were lovely, they, they were super demonstrations. And she would start off just using washes of, of thin colour and then all of a sudden the chairman would just come out of the paint. The paint. I took my kids when they were young and they couldn't believe it when they saw the, the, the face emerge from the all the background painting. It was uh, lovely to watch. This is, just, just, this is my primer really, I, but the watercolour paper is durable and we know that because Constable and Turner used a lot of watercolour paper for their sketching and as it, as it, it dries in into the paper and then well, it soaks into the paper and then you just keep going over it until you've got what you want. Let's have a bit of white in there. You don't need to use uh, artist quality subject. You need canvas. You don't need. I, I do prefer to work on MDF, but I've got all this watercolour paper that all the paintings on that didn't quite work, or I don't think they're very good. And I I use them for acrylic and oil. 
So let's get some bright colours on that horizon there, bit of sunset y type of stuff. This is a lovely brush, this is a, this is a sterling Pro Art Acrylics, long flat, not cheap. Well, let's have some pinky colours in there. You have to use some more cad red. Mm. I'll have to put some more white smooth out. Let's have some orangey colours. Right, put that to one side, get a smaller brush, and I'm going to put in some. Um, I've used that, I'm going to have to put some more on. It's quite inexpensive, pure turpentine. Right, um, black, yellow, bit of. So let's put in some, whoops, more black. I can put some blue in there. I like that so far. Now, this is nowhere near finished, and I just hope that we're not too dark. I'll just, I'm just going to brighten up a bit. If I can, right. Oh, okay, that's quite, that's quite bright. It's a beautiful morning, but I've had to keep the sun out of one of my windows. As it sort of rises up. It's a beautiful day. We had a lovely day yesterday in London. Absolutely glorious. Right, let's uh, get some landscape under that. Have some nice yellowy, orangey colour. moment it's a, a sky painting which is supported by a bit of landscape but we'll we'll see how we how we go with this bit of red bit of uh bit of sienna. just just get some paint on there we know we can change it anytime we like Bit rough, bit rough ground. Let's make some colours in there. I'm a great believer in using the largest brush, brush possible and leaving the uh, detail to sort of last. If you want to put detail in, a little bit of white in there. Mm -hmm. 
lovely greeny. Look at that. That's good green. Don't be too streaky though. Well, that's a lovely green with a black and a cad yellow. A bit white over that. It's a, an artist on the British Impressionist Facebook page that paints very, very impressionist. Andre Pallet. I mean, fabulous work he does. Well, not all of his paintings, but, but a lot of them. His landscapes are absolutely so, look so simple, but of course they're not. Simplicity comes at a price, doesn't it? The price of years and years of, of uh, painting. But one thing, there will always be people better than you. There's certainly a lot of people better than me. I just do what I can do. Right, let's go back into that sky now. And thicken some of this up. It's just a little bit too... Well, no, it's not. It's what it's supposed to be. Yes. Let's let some of it show through. I'm just trying to cover up the uh, the marks underneath. So let's have a bit of, bit of grey here. Touch of a mauve. I'm not trying to give this a, a particular great finish. See how you build up it. It soaks in, then you can add more colour. But it'll take a while to dry, but then it, you can varnish it with. Um, well, I use a bit of retouch varnish. Still got some of that. No, just to. I'm going to get some brilliant lights in here now. Clean the brush. I'm not cleaning the brush in the spirit as I go on. Just using this towel. I oh, want a bit of, bit of this and a bit of that. Sky painting here. The last thing we do will be woo, will be to put some uh, some of those trees back. Brilliant, that.
Now I'm going to do some brightening up of this here, but I just want, I like that sort of bluey, mauvey colour, a bit of a white in there. I'm trying to vary the uh, direction of the brush strokes as well. I'll get a bit of pink in there, I think. I want it to match a bit below. Okay, let's go back over the, uh, not sure about that, so we change that. All right, let's uh, do some stuff in here now. So let's get some brilliant greens through there. It's a little bit of light. Right, let's do some uh, some nice greens here now. Lovely paint for that. That black in there. I've done loads of paintings like this. I just like them. They're quick. And it's a Monday morning. All right, let's just get a little bit of blue in that background. Break up that uh, straight line there. Add some highlights. No, I don't, don't really like that. Maybe that blue doesn't show, it's just a bit too insipid, so let's change it a bit more blue in there.
the cave over there. Oh, that's that's uh, just a just a one for a Monday morning. It's it will dry a mat. I'll go put a mount on it, and we'll see. It's it's a very simple oil, but if you haven't tried oils before, it's a great way to get into them. You don't need a lot of material. I've just used two brushes for that. One very old brush. All right. And this lovely acrylics, which I try to keep as clean as possible. I've had it for about 20 years. I bought a lot of these. In, uh, I like long flats. I prefer long flats to any other brush. And uh, I bought lots of them when I was painting loads of Venice paintings for a gallery. Uh, mount. Now my mounts are not really clean, you know. But it's a little wide. Right, let's put that on there. Oh, that's a... Put that there. That's... There we are. Bags are nothing really, isn't it? Uh, let's just put a little bit of a orangey stuff on here. Just bring some of those brilliant lights and here, just catching a bit of that early sunrise. Just adds a little bit of that to light through there, we can make a bit more orange. Oh, that should be better, isn't it? Just add a bit of light. Quite a big paint on there now. Okay, green brush. So there we are. One for, one for YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this. It's probably dry in and got a bit more dull, but uh, you can always work over these things. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.